When we hear the word statue, images of extreme beauty come to mind, from Michelangelo's David and the Thinker to monumental works like the Statue of Liberty. The artist Willard Wiggin once inhaled his statue. How is that possible? Well, because a single statue created by him can be as small as the head of a pin. All of thread and Imagine an artist who can create an entire work of art inside the eye of that needle. It's very unique because it is only visible under a microscope. Imagine making a sculpture so tiny, your eyelash is the paintbrush. My name is Willard Wigan. I'm the creator of the smallest handmade sculptures in history. Today, we introduce this one-of-a-kind artist who creates what are arguably the smallest statues of all time. Today, Willard is a successful artist, but not everything was always so romantic. As a child with dyslexia and Asperger syndrome, Willard Wiggin was ridiculed in class by his primary school teachers for not learning to read. Wiggin attributes his early drive in sculpting, which began at the age of five, to his need to escape from the derision of teachers and classmates. They would take me around the school and tell the kids about me. I became an exhibit, which was traumatizing. He recalls running home and hiding in the garden shed. His dog unearthed a colony of ants while digging holes, and he decided to make them a place to live, as well as a palace for the queen ant. When Wiegand's mother saw what he had made, he says she was in a state of disbelief. You make these little things when you get older, your name will get bigger. The smaller you make them, the bigger your name will become. He wanted to show the world that nothing did not exist, deducing that if people were unable to view his work, then they would not be in any position to criticize it. Fast forward to 5 September 2017. Wiggins was recognized by Guinness World Records as having created the smallest handmade sculpture in the world. This record beat his prior record set in 2013 when he made a 24 karat gold motorbike embedded into a human hair. Moreover, in January 2018 received an honorary doctorate from the University of Warwick in recognition of the significant contributions that he has made to art and sculpture. The process of creating micro-sculptures is very complicated. The hands must be very still. Furthermore, a technique that the artist has developed is to significantly lower the heart rate to reduce the shaking. To make his sculptures, the artist uses a microscope and other tools that don't exist, so Wigan has to create them himself. These are made from acupuncture needles or microsurgery syringes. Furthermore, he also uses toothpicks and diamond fragments which together form a sort of micro-chisel. The materials Wigan uses for the sculptures can be grains of sand, nylon, kevlar, and gold. Finally, to apply the color, he creates a brush, attaching an eyelash to a needle. It can take up to four months to create a work with this technique. He says, as irritating as it is, the glory is at the end. Because when the Queen of England says, I can't believe what I see, you know you've done something special. The realization is a nightmare but a dream when finished. Making these sculptures is not at all simple. Every slightest mistake could compromise his months long work. In this regard, the episode in which Willard inhaled one of his micro sculptures should be mentioned. He was working on a statue representing Alice in Wonderland. He had modeled and sculpted each character and was moving on to color. During a busy work session, his cell phone rang. When he turned to see who was calling him, he breathed deeply and that was enough to inhale his entire work. He created another one, which is the one visible to us today. Wiegand has immortalized Usain Bolt in his famous lightning strike pose, Barack Obama and his family, and Harry and Meghan Markle, inside the eye of a needle. In his carving of the Statue of Liberty, the pedestal on which Lady Liberty stands is carved from a single grain of sand. Also impressive is his sculpture of the Burj Khalifa. He has managed to replicate the instantly recognizable and intricate flower-like shape of the building. Another standout piece is a ship he made, complete with several sails and rigging. It's constructed entirely from rose gold and 22K yellow gold, and it's smaller than a full stop. The micro-sculptor marked the 400th anniversary of Shakespeare's death with a statue of the bard set within the eye of a needle captioned, to see or not to see. But his favorite piece is a sculpture of Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper. Jesus and his 12 disciples individually carved and placed behind a table complete with dinner plates and the Holy Grail. It took him seven weeks to complete, the longest it has taken him to finish and his most challenging piece. Wiegand is an inspiration, and he says that's all he hopes to be. I wanted to inspire kids with learning differences, inspire people who believe that they cannot become what they want to. This work is very punishing, but it's because it's so small that it has a really big message.